Hello, this is not your chem tutor, and in this video, I will teach you how to answer molarity questions using dimensional analysis. If you haven't watched my first video about molarity, I will put the link on the description box. In that video, I talked about the basics of molarity and answered some sample questions. Here are the skills you need. First, you must know how to calculate the molar mass or molecular weight. And second, you must know how to perform dimensional analysis. If in case you are not familiar with some of these topics, I made separate videos and you can check the links on the description box. Let's just have a quick recap. Molarity is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So the unit for molarity is moles per liter, or this is also known as molar, and the symbol is capital M. Moles per liter and molar are just equivalent. So example, when I say one molar, that is just equivalent to one mole per liter. When you have 0.50 molar, this is just equivalent to 0.50 moles per liter. And I want you to remember this because we will use it in answering the succeeding questions. Example 1, how many moles of HCl is dissolved in 0.250 liters of 1.50 molar solution? So we are given 0 0.250 liters of solution. And we are given the concentration of the solution, which is 1.50 molar. And we know that 1.50 molar is just equivalent to 1.50 moles per liter. That means that one liter of solution contains 1.50 moles of solute, and our solute is HCl. So liters of solution will cancel, and the unit becomes moles of HCl. And if you solve this in your calculator, 0 0.250 times 1.50 divided by 1, this is equal to 0 0.375 moles of HCl. And this is the answer to the question. Example 2, what volume in ml of a 0 0.750 molar aqueous solution of NaCl contains 0 0.500 moles of NaCl? So we are given 0 0.500 moles of NaCl. And we are given the concentration 0 0.750 molar. And this is just equivalent to 0 0.750 moles per liter. So for every 1 liter of solution, It contains 0 0.750 moles of solute, and our solute is NaCl. So moles of NaCl will cancel, and the unit becomes liters of solution. But the problem is asking for ml. So we need to convert liters to ml. And we know that one liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So liters of solution will cancel, and the final unit becomes ml of solution. So this is equal to, on top we have 0 0.500, times 1 times 1,000 ml solution 
And on the bottom, we have 0 0.750 times 1. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 667 and the unit is ML solution. And this is the answer to the question. Example 3, what mass in grams of NaOH must be dissolved to prepare 100 ml of 0 0.600 molar solution? So we are given the volume of the solution, 100 ml. 100 ml of solution. The first step you need to do is to convert ml to liters. And we know that 1 liter is equivalent to 1,000 ml. So ml of solution will cancel. Now we have liters of solution. And we are given the concentration, 0 0.600 molar. And this is just equivalent to 0 0.600 moles per liter. So one liter of solution contains 0 0.600 moles of solute and our, and our solute is NaOH. So liters of solution will cancel. Now we have moles of NaOH. To solve for the mass of NaOH, we will use the molar mass of NaOH, which is given to us. If in case the molar mass is not given, then you need to compute it on your own. So according to the molar mass, one mole of NaOH is equivalent to 39.998 grams of NaOH. So moles of NaOH will cancel, and the final unit would be grams of NaOH. So this is equal to, on top we have 100 times 1 times 0 0.600 times 39.998 grams of NaOH. And on the bottom, we have 1,000 times 1 times 1. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 2.4 grams of NaOH. And this is the answer to the question. For the last example, example 4, what volume in liters of 1.50 molar vitamin C contains 5 grams of vitamin C? So we are given the mass of vitamin C, which is 5 grams. The first step in solving this problem is to convert grams of vitamin C to moles of vitamin C using the molar mass or the molecular weight. So according to the molecular weight, one mole of vitamin C is equivalent to 176.124 grams of vitamin C. So grams of vitamin C will cancel. Now we have moles of vitamin C. We are also given the concentration of the solution, which is 1.50 molar. And this is equivalent to 1.50 moles per liter. That means one liter of solution contains 1.50 moles 
of solute. And our solute is vitamin C. So moles of vitamin C will cancel and the final unit would be liters of solution. So on top, we have 5 times 1 times 1 liter solution. And on the bottom, we have 176.124 times 1.50. And if you solve this in your calculator, this is equal to 0.0189. 0.189 liter solution. And this is the answer to the question.